Hi, today I wanted to chat to you about the different types of finishes that are available for your kitchen bathroom renovation in terms of cabinetry. Now I'm going to use Polytech here. This is not sponsored or anything like that. It's just a brand I like to work with. Um, it's because I've known them for years and, and trust their product. Um, but Laminex and Polytech are just um, two separate brands that offer the same type of um, product. Um, I generally decide to choose between Laminex or Polytech based on the color I'm really trying to look for. So that's what it comes down to really. But I'm going to go from least expensive to most expensive. And this really um, depends on the cabinet maker that you use because they might have slight different um, pricing variations. But as a rule of thumb, this is what you can start off with. So we have our matte laminate. This is all for cabinetry. So all for um, vertical surfaces rather than horizontal, which is your bench tops. So matte finish laminate, it's just your stock standard. Um, you know, it comes in a variety of um, plain colors or timber. Um, but this is, you know, great for an entry level type of kitchen or bathroom. Then you jump up to um, a textured laminate. So Polytech call it um, wood mat or ravine. Um, and what it is, it's still a laminate, but it's actually got a slight texture to it. So it feels a little bit more re realistic, like a, a, a timber veneer or something. Relatively um, price, you know, like price point is, is quite good. Um, and I like to use this a lot for kitchens. Um, you know, whether you want to use a timber, but don't want to spend money on, you know, say timber veneer. And we'll get to that bit shortly. So this is great. Perfect for bathrooms as well. If you don't want to use real timber um, for the vanities, textured laminate is brilliant. This can also be used for shelving. So if you've got some, you know, gorgeous open shelving in your kitchen or your fireplace or TV cabinetry, that works really well. Then next we have, what do we got? Um, next we have um, like a smooth finish. So Polytech have brought out this new finish called Smooth. It's a bit velvety. It's quite lovely actually. Uh, and it's to emulate Tupac. Um, they also have a, um, a, a another sort of range called Vanette, which is like a fingerprint proof. Um, sometimes that can be up there in price, but if you're wanting to use dark colors like a deep navy or a black or a charcoal for your cabinets, the fingerprints can be a nightmare. So using the vignette finish um, really helps with that because you don't see any marks at all. So you can see that's a really beautiful soft finish um, and there's some great colors. Like this is like a lovely sage color. Looks great for kitchen cabinets, um, whether it's the whole kitchen or maybe just for the base cabinets. Next, we're going up to vinyl wrap. So what this is, it's a thermolaminated um, vinyl and it gets vacuum sealed around your cabinet doors. So that means you don't get any edge profiles on your doors or your drawers. So it looks really seamless and comes in matte finishes. It comes in gloss and a variety of different colors, um, but but a standard range of colors. So um, if you're wanting a particular color um, and you're wanting this sort of finish where it sort of wraps around the edges, then I'd probably suggest spending that little bit more and going to two pack because with two pack, it means you can choose any paint color, you know, match it to any Dulux color and get that exact color you're trying to find. But if you wanted to save on costs, um, vinyl wrap is a great alternative. Um, it doesn't really chip or scratch, but if it does, you have to sort of get a, a new door or a new drawer. So that's the um, one of the downsides of it. In terms of heat, um, it's, it's perfect around cooktops and ovens. Most cabinet makers um, will put a heat deflector on the side panels of your oven. So, you know, the heat won't actually get to it and bubble because years ago, back in the 60s and 70s, when they did have vinyl wrap, you did notice that sort of contact sort of look that would peel. You don't get that any um, anymore with, with the good quality vinyl wrap. Um, and Polytech is probably one of the great brands out there that do vinyl wrap really, really well. Um, and then I also should note, if you're wanting a, a door profile, like a Hamptons door profile, if you're wanting like beautiful um, linear grooves in your cabinetry, you have to only do it with um, vinyl wrap or two pack. You can't get that finish with a laminate. Next um, is, is two pack and I don't have a, a profile of that, but that just looks very similar to um, 
you know, you can get it in matte, you can get it in sheen because it's a paint finish. Um, it's like what they use to spray paint a car. So it's sprayed and then it's baked on. So that means um, if it does scratch, it can actually be buffed out and, um, and that scratch can be um, removed. It is prone to chipping compared to say a vinyl wrap, but you know, you've got to be really rough with it to, to get to that sort of damage. Um, once again, you know, it comes in um, Hampton's door profiles in a beautiful linear type of door profiles too. Um, and you can color match to any paint color, Dulux, Hames, Porter's, whatever it is, um, they can color match it. So you, it is probably getting up there to um, the higher price brackets. But if you want to, you know, save a little bit, you could do, you know, your, your base cabinets and say a beautiful... Um, two pack and then you know your overheads you could do in like a textured laminate so you can really play around with the different types of materials in your kitchen um doesn't mean you have to do the whole kitchen in that one product you can mix it up a little bit too and then lastly we have timber veneer so timber veneer is actually really thinly cut pieces of real timber and it's laminated onto onto boards um, this is beautiful this is a premium product it is real timber, so you can get it in so many gorgeous um, natural timbers out there. Um, it is up there in price, but once again, you can play around with only do it for the overheads or, you know, just doing it for, for some beautiful um, living room cabinetry or in the entry. One of the downsides is, is because it is natural timber, it is going to fade if it's um, facing direct sunlight. It just like timber flooring, just like timber furniture. Uh, it will age like that, but that's the beauty of timber. So it can be refinished. Um, and once again, comes in uh, so many different finishes, whether it's uh, a flat finish, sheen or high gloss. Um, there are some great products, I, some great brands out there that do. Um, this is um, George Feathers. I also, you know, there's so many other brands out there, but once again, um, figure out where, you sit with your budget and then that can help you determine what finish you're going to use for your kitchen and bathroom. Let me know if you've got any questions. I would love to help um, because there are so many different options out there it can seem really overwhelming, but I've got a um, complimentary design call that you can book in if you want to chat over the phone and uh, we can help you uh, put together a plan for your exciting renovation or new build. Thanks for watching.